What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement walkthrough for Subnautica Below Zero. This game released onto the Xbox May 14, 2021 for a price of $29.99. Just like the first Subnautica, this one also has commands and we can go through the game and get all the achievements using them. And we can do it very quickly, it should only take about a half an hour. Shout out to Chivo Guides for uh, figuring out how to do it and uh, doing all the legwork on it. I really appreciate it. I'm going to link his channel below. You guys should uh, check him out and subscribe. I just wanted to make my own guide for uh, my subscribers just to let them know just in case they didn't know about this. And also I just wanted to go over a couple extra things to make it a little bit more helpful. Um, I had an issue where I was dying of hunger and thirst. Um, when you actually start the game here, you can uh, pick which mode you want. You can do it in survival or freedom. We're going to do it in freedom because then you don't have to worry about hunger or thirst the whole time and it will make it just so much easier. So once you start, there's going to be a cutscene and you can hold B to skip it. So skip the cutscene and then we're going to start here. And what we need to do is make it over to our pod. So just follow this path down here. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. We're going to jump into the water and we're going to swim over to that location right there. That's the drop pod. On the bottom left, it shows your oxygen. So just watch that when you're underwater. Just a heads up, this game is Xbox Play Anywhere, so you can play it on Windows 10 as well. But for some reason, the achievements don't pop on Windows 10, so you have to play it on Xbox. Here's the drop pod. You're going to click on the door and go inside. Found the drop and we pod. unlock our first achievement for finding the drop pod. Alright, now like I said... We can use commands, so you're going to hit start, and you're going to hit L bumper and R bumper at the same time, and that's going to open up the developer menu. And in here, we can uh, use commands, give, and also teleport. So first, you want to go to commands and click Bob the Builder. That's going to uh, give us unlimited supplies and unlock all the blueprints and everything. And then also, we're going to click oxygen, so we don't have to worry about getting oxygen. And now we're going to back out and we're going to click on this fabricator over here and we're going to make a couple things so that we have them later for certain achievements. You want to go to the top one resources and then go to advanced materials and then we're going to make hydraulic fluid. And once it's done, it's going to go right into your inventory. Then still in advanced materials, you want to make the antidote. Now you want to go down one under advanced materials to electronics. You want to make the test override module at the bottom right. Now we're going to go under resources to personal and we're going to go to equipment. We're going to make the high capacity tank. And then we're going to make the fins. And we have to make the cold suit. There's three pieces. So make the gloves. And then make the suit. For some reason it took me out of it, so I had to go back in. Now make the helmet. Now we're going to go to tools, and we're going to make the scanner. And we're going to make the flashlight. And we're going to make the habitat builder over here. We might have one already because of the Bob the Builder command, but we'll just make another one just in case. Now we want to go back under personal and we want to go to deployables. In here we want to make the spy pangolin remote. And also the spy pangolin. Without spy penguins. Also we're going to make the mobile vehicle bay. All right, now we got everything that we need so we can exit. Now you wanna go into your inventory and we wanna release the vehicle bay. So hit select and then go over to your inventory and then you wanna assign it. Well, Sam, Once you assign it, you can hit L bumper and R bumper to go to it on the bottom bar and then release it. Now that we have this up here, we're gonna use it. 
and we're gonna go to vehicles and we're gonna make the sea truck and then we're gonna jump off this and we're gonna open up the developer menu go to give and we're gonna give ourselves a snow fox and then go on it and ride it make sure it says board and then once you're on it you can get off we just have to ride it for a second and there's the sea truck now we need the habitat builder if it's not in your bottom bar go in your inventory and take it out once it's in your hands we're gonna use our trigger to use it and we're gonna make the multi-purpose room so press A to construct it press our trigger to cancel and then our trigger again so we can make the hatch and then press A and now press R trigger to cancel and then we can go inside now press R trigger again and press R bumper go to the fourth tab and in here there's a jukebox so we want to make this the last thing I'm doing here is just adding windows to the base this is my own personal thing you don't have to do it it's just for fun we're actually set up here we're gonna have uh, some achievements pop what we need to do is save and then we're gonna quit out and then when we come back in the achievements are gonna start popping that looks so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright. So we're going to save and quit, like I said. So press start and go to save. And then after it saves, you're going to go to start and you're going to go to quit. Yes. And you don't even need to dashboard. You can stay in the game. Just hit play. And then you're going to go to your save. And that's going to load your game. And while it's loading, the achievements are going to start popping. So the reason that we had to save and uh, quit and come back in is because the achievements don't pop when you have the commands on in game so you just have to save quit and then come back in and they'll pop so we had five achievements pop make the cold suit make the spy pangling make the sea truck ride the snow fox and make the jukebox so just make sure they all pop We can do an achievement check here. You should have six achievements and 325 gamer score. We just got five there and we had the drop pod achievement from earlier. All right, so now we're gonna go back and uh, go into the pause menu, hit L bumper and R bumper at the same time, open up the developer menu and we're gonna go to teleport. We wanna go and teleport to sanctuary. Just click on it and it will bring you over there. It will take a little bit to load in Eventually, you'll see a base that you can go inside. There we go. We can swim through. Like you can breathe in here so you don't have to worry about your oxygen. So just follow the path up. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Hello? Is someone there? In the memory speaking. We're running out of time. What is all this? Seeking emergency storage medium. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves. This room has a few iron cubes, so pick up one of them. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? We're gonna activate this thing over here, but we have to wait for the dialogue to stop. Just come over here and go up this ramp. And just stand here until the dialogue's done. Eventually, this green thing's gonna come up and we can insert the storage memory. There's gonna be some dialogue spots here and there. I'm just gonna let it play out just so that we're at the same time. The achievement's gonna pop in game actually because uh, as long as we don't use the commands in the developer thing and we only use teleport, then uh, the achievements will actually pop. If it doesn't pop, just save and uh, quit and come back in. Okay. Hurry. Here's the thing. Press A on it and we can insert the storage medium. And then we're going to have some more dialogue here. Storage medium accepted. Brace from transfer. Brace? Ah! What's happening? Transfer.
Task complete. complete. Oh. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component! You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. There we go, there's the achievement. All right, once the cutscene's done, then we can press start and we're going to teleport somewhere else. This time we're going to go to Delta Base. It's about halfway down. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. So we're going to be over here at this snow base. Just wait till it all shows up. Delta Station Dock. All right, there we go. All right, so there's a base you'll see over there. You want to go over this way, go down here, and there's a cave. So follow down this way. We want to trigger a cutscene, so you want to go down here. It's like this area right here, and then turn around. And then once you exit out of the cave, it's going to trigger the cutscene. Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. This achievement's a two-part thing, so that's the first part of it. We actually have to teleport somewhere else now. So pause it and go to teleport. And this time you want to go to Marge base. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? Now over here, just wait for everything to show up. It should be underneath you. She did not respond to my distress calls. Just look around a bit. Alright, here's the base underneath me. So you want to go under it. And then we can go inside of it. So go inside. There's a ladder we can go up. And the achievement should pop around this time. It all depends on the dialogue. From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Now that we got the achievement, we can open up the menu and teleport. We're going to go to Rocket, the top one. What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Just wait for everything to show up. There's a building over here. You want to walk towards it. And you want to go to the right. And you're going to see a ladder. And a console. So go up the ladder. We're going to click on the thing over here. To plug in the test module that we made earlier. Now we're going to go back down by the ladder. And we're going to click on this console here. And we're going to click the bottom left, enter test mode. And that's going to give us the achievement. Alright, now to the next spot. We're going to go down and teleport to uh, Frozen Creature. Alright, this is the frozen creature area. Eventually it will load in and we're going to come over here to the elevator. And we're going to activate it so we can go up. You can just ignore or dismiss the phone call. Alright, come over here and uh, interact with this robot and we're going to insert the antidote.
and then to the right of it there's a computer and we're gonna click on it and that's gonna start the robot There we go, and that's going to give us the achievement. Alright, so we're done here. We're going to work on the next achievement. Bring up the menu, go to teleport, go down to Glacial Bay. It's like all the way down at the bottom, so just keep going down. Doing this one last thing for of course, it's nighttime. <laughs> Just look around, and uh, you'll see a dock. And then we need to climb up, and we're gonna go and uh, repair the bridge, which is up there. So we need to go up this way, up this path. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I told her that more. Sam always wanted to make. Here's the bridge over here on the left side. You're going to interact with it, and that's going to fix the bridge and give you an achievement. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. All right, now we can teleport out of here. So open up the menu, go to teleport. This time we're going to go to the Fabricator base, which is at the top it's above Sanctuary. Will it help us build you a body? Just wait for it to load up. Eventually you'll see a base that you can go in. It actually loaded me right into the base. <laughs> but uh, this is the base right here. So it'll look like this and then you go inside. And we actually have to uh, craft some things over here. So to be able to craft these things, we have to have supplies. So we're going to hit start. We're going to go to commands and we're going to go to Bob the Builder. You didn't even know what this place was. So since we use that command, the achievement's not going to pop until we quit out and come back in. So after we craft and do all this stuff, we'll save and then we'll quit out and we'll come back and the achievement will pop. But we have to craft these three things. You're going to craft. There's going to have some dialogue and then we can craft the second one. More dialogue and then we can craft the third. As I said. Like me. If that is your interpretation. So how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. That one's done. Now we can craft the next one. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. There we go. Now we can craft the third one. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? Just let it finish crafting over there. The and once it's done, the console over here is going to open up and then we can click on it. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. There we go. So interact with this. Now it's going to build this alien in there and eventually it's going to open up and then we're going to go in there and we're going to interact with him. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. There we go. He's going to come down, and then we can click on him. And now just watch the cutscene. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream.
my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. After it finishes the dialogue, we're going to pause the game and save, and we're going to quit out, and then we're going to come back in, and the achievement's going to pop. So just let them finish talking. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, now we're good. We can pause the game and we're gonna save and we're gonna quit. Now we can uh, load our save, go back into the game. And as it's loading, it's going to pop the achievement out of mind. All right, so now we can teleport again. Open up the developer menu with L bumper and R bumper. And we're going to go to teleport and we're going to go to outpost zero. That's going to bring us over to this base here. And now you want to look for this green icon. And that's what we're going to walk towards. So just follow this. We're going to follow this path. We're actually going to be completing the game here. So this is the end of the game and we're going to get our last achievement. We just got a little bit of stuff to do. So just keep following the path until we get to this marker. Alright, here's the facility and the aliens inside. So just follow him. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Just walk around and he's gonna head out the door. Now go over to him and he's gonna talk to you. Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleport log, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where Architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry if they live at all. Or you could find peace, family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. I walk to the portal. This is the final section, the final area. Run up to this guy and talk to him. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe. In hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Will you help me prepare the ship? 
the energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. All right, we got to fix these two pillars down here. We don't have to worry about fall damage. Our guy like floats now. So go over here and interact with this pillar and that will fix it. And then go over to this side and fix the other one. Now head up to the alien and interact with him. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. We can head over by him. Now we can enter inside. Whoops. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. I love that. I will have you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah. We could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself and then we will depart. So when you're able to, you're going to click on these bars here. And that's going to brace yourself for launch. Launching in three, two, one. And we're going to go for a little ride. And once it's over, our last achievement's going to pop and we'll be done with this game. So we're just going to watch this cutscene real quick. If they survived. With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. And there we go. That's the end of the ride. And that's the end of the game. So now the credits are going to roll. And we're going to get our last achievement. Into the unknown. So that's it guys. That's the achievement walkthrough for Subnautica Below Zero. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land.